even need a fucking chain. This trip was sick to have a bunch of dudes that don't know each other come together. Uh, you know, that could kind of be up in the air whether that's going to work or not, but <clears throat> knowing each one of these dudes separately, I kind of figured that it would work out. Fast friends, you know, like it's pretty sick that it worked out that way. You know, they are all pretty different humans, so it's kind of interesting that their dynamic kind of let them mesh super well. Riley Smith, 20 years old from Arlington, Washington. My name is Justin Cobley. I'm 25 and I'm from Long Island, New York. My name is Logan Pemberg. I'm 21 years old and I'm from Austin, Texas. Dude, did I stutter? <laughs> <laughs> we got Logan, who is Mr. Tire Ride Guy, Mr. Don't Think About It, Send It. We'll go like twice as fast as that and just hope for the best, I guess. <laughs> He slams really hard for no reason and then gets up and does it again until he gets the trick. So I admire that about him. Yeah, it's kind of been rough taking some good slams. Send it up in a trash can. So Logan's really tall, about double my height. Seeing him walk away from some pretty sketchy situations unscathed. Dude, if I wasn't tall, that would have been straight nuts. The garbage can situation, not not so lucky. Basically the, the worst possible scenario there. Hand straight through the garbage can, chin slide, the lip, the worst slam I've seen. So I had only known these dudes for like maybe an hour and then Justin decides it's time to finally let it out the bag that he, about his experience on the plane and it was just so crazy how casually he comes out and he's just like, yeah, so I kind of threw up on the plane. The flight in, I had a little little incident with some uh, turbulence. Uh, I thought I could hang and I couldn't. I knew I was going to throw up, so I tried to make my way to the bathroom and at the bathroom door, simultaneously threw up and passed out in front of two flight attendants, <laughs> only out for a few minutes. But they were freaking out. I didn't know where I was. It was pretty rough. Could, could have been a better flight on the way in. All right, well, Riley claims he can't do anything. Says he's not a bar spin guy. Dude goes, says he, he goes up the rail and does a pegs bar. He's like, yo, that's the second pegs bar I've ever done. I was like, okay. And then next thing I know, he's icing up the rail, and then I hear him tell Grant, all right, dude, I'm going to try ice up switch bar. And I'm just like... Oh, yeah, wow. Riley can ride anything. Claims he's not a ledge guy, and he has all the ledge tricks, all the, the combos, like, and he learns tricks at the spot. Did I talk about Riley enough? I'm fucking done talking Riley up. Everyone's gonna get their chance on that. Holy shit. Yeah, another thing about Riley is it doesn't seem like it, riding's very hard for him. I don't know, like everything he's, he tried uh, happened pretty quick. Must be fucking nice. Must be nice. Uh, especially when he feeble, feebled the uh, San Pedro Kinker as well to uh, easy 180. That rail's not something that's like a skate park rail or anything like that. It's a real rail and he handled it like a boss and he handled it like it was nothing, you know? First time you got down so happy I landed that. First time I was literally telling him, I was like, Yep. Oh, oh my god. god. Yes. That was yes. stupid guy. Chill it dude. We got Justin, aka Cobelli, aka T Bog guy. He is solid, 
Lands everything super dialed when he does it. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. Let's fucking go. Yes. You're pinned now. Thank you. Woo! Thank you. Okay. Justin, he's about the nicest guy I've ever met. Dude's insane at T-Bugs. And yeah, he's, he's way better than he knows he is. So Justin's fucking sick. I've met Cobelli before. Uh, in previous trips and he's always been super cool to ride with. Definitely definitely not scared to fall down trying some shit. Yes, sir. It's been really cool to have Justin on this trip because he's been snapping photos left and right. He's really good at it. He's always sneaking pictures of you when you don't know. Not in a bad way. <laughs> yeah, so one thing about this trip I really enjoyed was just shooting these guys photos pretty much 24-7. Like, I generally just like to shoot like 35 millimeter film photos, kind of like documenting the trip and just like, just for some memories. Getting to shoot a couple photos with Z, that something I never thought would happen. So it's like such an awesome opportunity. Especially being able to like pick his brain a little bit to kind of look over his shoulder and like see how he's working was really cool. This was my first time meeting Dan, so that was sick too. The dude is fucking insane. Like. He'll come out and just say this combo, and I'm just like, nah, he's not, he's not gonna do that. Oh, so good. That was so Dude. fucking good. Proper. And then he does it, <laughs> really quick, too. It's been really cool riding with Dan. This is the first time I've met him. He rips, he's always going 100. So yeah, that was a treat getting to watch Dan ride and meeting him. So yeah, Logan, he tire rode the infamous San Pedro kinker. I'm really hyped we got to go to the San Pedro double kinker. Always wanted to ride that. Got some shit done. Riley got some heavy shit done. It was, that was a good time. So we pull up to the world famous San Pedro kinked rail. We were kind of just chirping at Logan to do a little tire ride down it because he's tire ride guy. All right. I got to at least send the tires right here. I owe everyone lunch. Logan probably tries it like 20 times. And then like around there, he just tire rides straight down the whole kink trail. And Z's just snapping photos the whole time. And Logan just rides off of it straight and everyone's just dead silent because like we know he wants to do a trick out of it and Z's just kind of standing there like uh like is that not what he was going for he just tire rode a kink trail wait what happened what's wrong oh really yeah Z was wasn't ready for 2020 biking on that one it was honestly like the craziest thing I think I've ever seen in person. He just literally just went for it. Like we showed up and he didn't know how it was gonna be, but he had already talked about doing it. So we got there and he's like, yeah, I'll do it. And I could tell he was kind of nervous because uh, the first couple of times he just kept landing in pegs and he was like freaking out because he says he normally doesn't do that. He normally just gets on the tires and you know, it makes sense to be nervous in Cali on this trip. Jeff Z's there shooting a photo, you know, like, but, uh, yeah, he, his, his original plan was to do tire ride to switch 180. We're all just like, why don't you just tire ride it? Like, it's crazy enough, but that's just light for him, I guess, so.
Yeah. <laughs> I thought you look at your hat. Dude. He's like, what? I fucking. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Oh, Woo! Yeah. Wow. You just like post your angle. Could you send me that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. drop it to me. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Pretty much. I'm so stoked. Dude, that was. Dude, I've honestly Crazy. never missed a rail for a tires that many times, so I was just mega scared for this one. <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> Is yours daddy? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> this, honestly, for me, is to have a few more people for Dan to, like, help vibe off of. Obviously, we the people being, like, a European brand, a lot of our pros and ams are, like, overseas, which right now is even more challenging because we kind of can't meet up with them. Uh, but it's sick because we have dudes that aren't that far away that can just jump on a quick flight go on a trip and we Dan can ride with them and Dan actually got along super well with these dudes which is always a really good thing like you know they obviously had like a great deal of respect for Dan's riding they like so we only, he only came out a couple days he was pretty busy but like you know they, they saw him do some like crazy shit some you know some normal Dan shit and they were like yo this is this is crazy because they're not used to seeing people ride like do some such a progressive tricks like on a daily basis I think so they were like dude this is crazy and it kind of made them all be like oh shit I want to do like some better shit you know I think they felt like they were slacking or whatever but they you know they held their own and they fucking killed it too well all together I think all the we the people am dudes are awesome stoked to have them on the team I'm looking forward to the next trip to go on with them and Looking forward to having Felix and Jordan and Dylan meet them as well because I know they'll get along with them super well and I think they're great additions to the team.